With LEGO power functions being recently discontinued, they've been extremely hard to find. Even if you do find them on places like eBay, well, just take a look at this. These prices are outrageous. First graphics cards, then LEGO parts? What's next? NFTs? I eventually came across this listing which was selling power functions for a very reasonable price, and they were red for some reason. You're probably thinking what I was thinking when I first saw these, and well, you would be right. These motors are indeed Chinese knockoffs. However, you can see that the seller claims that these motors are enhanced and upgraded. I will be the judge of that, thank you very much. Spoiler alert, the results are actually quite surprising. So I ended up buying two of them, an XL motor and an M motor. I then proceeded to open the bags they came in with my half horsepower LEGO table saw. At first glance, these things look exactly like genuine LEGO power functions, besides the obvious red color, but after closer inspection, I did notice that there are no LEGO logos on the entire unit, whether that be on the studs, the backs, or the sides. This applies to the XL motor, too. I suppose I should also mention that both knockoff motors have less clutch power than the genuine ones. The knockoff ones don't grab the axle quite as well as the genuine ones, but don't get me wrong, they still keep it in there. So throughout this video, I will be referencing this website several times. It's a cool website made by someone named Philo, and on this specific page, he lists all the characteristics of every single LEGO motor known to man. I will throw a link to it in the description if you want to check it out yourself. So let's start out by measuring the torque of the M motors to find out which one's stronger, the real LEGO or the knockoff. So torque can be calculated by multiplying the length of the lever by how much force the motor applies in newtons. I'll be measuring torque in newton centimeters, which is a common SI unit for torque. You don't really need to understand it, but just know that the higher the torque measurement, the better. The torque test gave a clear win to the knockoff M motor, with it being 66% stronger than the genuine LEGO motor. So now I'm going to measure the RPMs of the M motor by using the simple EV3 program. First up, the genuine LEGO M motor. My reading was 407 RPM, and this matches up nicely with Philo's data of 405 RPM, as you can see here. Next is the knockoff M motor. Okay, so the knockoff M motor has like 300 more RPMs than the genuine one. So really, you could take this as a win or lose for the knockoff, but it also means something else. Since the knockoff has a higher torque and a much higher RPM than the genuine LEGO M motor, that probably means that it sucks down a lot more power. This can be a problem, and I will explain why in a minute. The genuine LEGO M motor has around a 62 milliamp no load current and an 860 milliamp stalled current. Again, these measurements match up nicely with Philo's. I'm not trying to toot my own horn with my superior measuring skills, but you know. However, the knockoff M motor had a no load current of 143 milliamps, more than double that of the genuine LEGO M motor. Then something interesting happened when trying to measure the stalled current of the knockoff M motor. The motor turned off and the meter read 0 milliamps. This happened because the power supply I was using can only output 2,000 milliamps of current. This means that the motor was drawing more than 2,000 milliamps and the power supply shut down in order to protect itself. As I said earlier, this can be a problem. These battery boxes have resettable fuses inside of them which will trip if the flowing current exceeds 1,500 milliamps. LEGO claims that you can power 4 M motors at a time with one battery box. So what this really means is that you can probably only power two knockoff M motors with one battery box. Not that big a deal. So the last test I'm going to do with the M motors is the simple noise test. I made a quick and easy EV3 program that will just show the raw output of a sound sensor. So it seems the noise level we're getting out of the genuine LEGO M motor is around 26.5 decibels. And around 61 decibels for the knockoff M motor, which is actually not that bad considering its speed and torque. When all is said and done, 
the knockoff M motor actually seems to outperform the genuine LEGO M motor. Just keep in mind that the knockoff M motor sucks down more power, but that's basically what you're trading for a higher torque and higher RPM. So now I'm going to speed run what we just did, but with the XL motors instead. Now the results for the XL motors were a bit more interesting. The torque measurements for the knockoff XL motor and the genuine LEGO XL motor were basically the same. But if you really want to be specific about it, the knockoff XL motor is about 1.5% stronger, which is negligible. Also, since the XL motor has a higher RPM and a slightly higher torque than the genuine LEGO XL motor, it probably also draws more current. So in conclusion, these knockoff motors seem to be somewhat of a general improvement over the genuine LEGO motors, and they also come at a better price. I really only have one complaint about them, and it's the fact that they're not made by LEGO. LEGO is a reputable company, and we know that they make great products that will last a long time, but we don't know anything about this knockoff brand. For all we know, the quality of these motors or the parts used to make them are garbage, and they may only last for, say, a month before they crap out. But I do have faith in these particular units. They perform well, and they seem to be made out of sturdy material, so they might actually be worth a try. I do have kind of a personal issue with the fact that they're not made by LEGO, and that is I'm a purist. I only like using LEGO branded stuff in my creations, with the occasional exception of, say, a rubber band or a steel ball. That being said, I probably wouldn't feel that great about it if I used one of these in my creations. But who knows, maybe I will one day. Anyway, that's about it for this one, and this video took me a long time to make, so a like and subscribe would mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching!